Hi everyone, it's time for another training video. This video is on how to package and label and encapsulate boxes of barbecue sauce, ketchup, and jam that we sell to companies like uh, Whole Foods, New Seasons, Market of Choice, places like that. On account of the fact that these products are going to like upscale stores, it's pretty important that everything in them be correct. So I'm going to do this training video so that everybody can do it the same way every single time. The first thing to point out is that this is kind of mindless work. So on account of the fact that it's mindless work, you need to get a system in place and do it the same every single time so you don't lose your place. We've had product returned to us for no capsules. We've had product returned to us for no labels. We've had product returned to us for no product in the bottle. So the bottle was actually labeled, dated, capsulated, put in the box, shipped to the customer, and when they got it out and put it on the shelf, there was no product in it. So in order to avoid embarrassing uh, situations like that, just find this routine, do it the same every single time. So now we're gonna learn how to do, uh, we're gonna do ketchup, sriracha ketchup. So the first thing is we've got 10 boxes to do. You don't wanna pull, before I go out there, I'm just gonna go through a couple of things. You don't wanna put all 10 boxes on the counter and try and handle all 10 boxes at one time because this is kind of side work that you do when you don't have customers. And if you put 10 cases on the counter, first off, it doesn't look good to the customer. But secondly, you can't work. If somebody comes in and wants a bunch of frozen drinks, um, the syrups are gonna be behind um, the boxes and you won't be able to access the syrups, you won't be able to access the cups, you won't be able to access the ice. So you wanna do one box at a time. So to get a product flow going, the product will be brought in on a little cart, which I will show you. And then you take out one box at a time. If it's ketchup or barbecue sauce, you date it first, capsulate it second, label it. As soon as you're done labeling it, it goes directly into the box. And then you QC the box, which is really important. And once the box is QC, then you tape it shut. And once the box is taped shut, it's considered ready to go to the customer. So they don't get taped shut until there's an outside label on the box and the product is QC'd and everything is dated, labeled, capsulated, and the product is full. So that's about it. I'm going to take you out there now and show you a little bit on how it's done. Okay, so we'll see you in a minute. We're back out front where all the action happens. We have one box of sriracha that we got off of that tray down there. And we're going to have a dating section, a capsulating section, a labeling section, and then it goes back in the box. So from here, you want to take all six of them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you get them all out, put the box over there so that you can label them back up. So you want to use this date gun which has been set for three years from now. So the date that you're labeling the bottles matches the date that's on the box. That's really important. So going over here, we see that it's off, so we're gonna fix it so it matches. Okay, now the date matches. So. You click it on like that and then use your thumb to just make sure that it seats. You do all six of them at one time. And remember what I said, you don't want to have a bunch of boxes on the counter so that you can access the cups and the other stuff. So we're done with the first section, we come over to the second section. These little capsules go on the top, they just need to be flushed with the top. They do not need to be pushed down. Just do six of them, get them flush with the top. Then we're going to turn on this hair dryer over here, which is going to be kind of loud, so I'm not going to be able to talk after that. But anything you need to know. So this is adjustable on here. It'll usually be correct, but you just want to get it so that needs to point up a little bit. So somebody has unplugged it. So we're going to turn this on and while I think about it, when you're done, you want to be sure and cool it down. It gets up over 800 degrees in here. If you don't cool it down, it'll burn the motor up and these are $150 a piece. So this is off, on, and then cool will just blow air over it until it cools. So we're going to go with hot and once it heats up, it'll 
I'll shrink these things up like that. So just do all six of them. And you can see if you have a customer that comes in and needs anything, you have access to everything here, which is really important. So you just want to get all six of these done. Then we're going to use the labeling machine to label these. The labeling machine takes a minute to grab. Okay, now we're going to put this on cool for a minute until it cools down. And then once it cools down, we're going to shut it off. I will be okay. So can you pause for me? Okay. Pretend that we've got this. Okay, the machine turns on right back here. There's a little rocker switch. When you turn it on, it takes it about 30 seconds to warm up. And all you do is put a bottle in, make sure that it doesn't sit over the top, but goes to the end. And then the label is going to fit perfectly on the bottle. And you just turn the switch on, and it'll label the bottle. See the way it turns around like that? And I don't have the full roll on there, so I'm having to improvise for the video, but it'll go like that. When you're done, this is really important. You need to go up and down on both of the edges several times, because if you don't, they will flip up over time. When they flip up, the glue dries, and then they won't stick down no matter what you do. Then you have to scrub these off with a Brillo pad and redo them. So once you're done with these, just on like that. There, it's turning around a little better. Off, go down with those. And then once you get the full box done, you just QC the box up and down a couple of times. That one accidentally went over, but I heard it and felt it. So you wanna be pretty careful with this so that they all turn out right, because as I said, this is going to Whole Foods, Market of Choice, and upscale places, and you don't wanna send them a substandard product. So once you get all of these labeled, which this is our come on, last label here. Okay. You want to QC it, which means you take the back two out, make sure they're dated, labeled, encapsulated, front labeled, dated, encapsulated, and then the two center ones. Even though you just put those in the box, QC them every single time so that they don't come back incorrect. And then the box is ready. The box goes over here and then it goes over to the other place. So that's all there is to it. It's super easy. It doesn't take up too much counter space. So you just take one box at a time through the system, seal it, and you're done. That's it. Thanks for watching.